Hey everybody. Um, and going over Interstellar. I I did a, a quick demo with, with, and it's it's a pretty cool, cool tool. It's pretty cool. I have content lookup as far as contact information goes and stuff like that. Um, let me see if I can get into it. Let me take these off so I can see. And if you have trouble hearing me, let me know. Um, let's see. Because I work for a bank and we we have certain firewalls and things like that, so I have to be aware of that. Let me see. Yeah, let me let me do this real quick. this okay <clears throat> but just just while I'm waiting for that to come through you can look at some of the features you can source you can automate outreach so as as far as a uh, solution for me drip campaigns are huge um, we're all, we're looking for ways to better automate what we're doing through Aventure. Um, and, and I like the fact that this is, this kind of has dual features. You can, you can look up contact information, they incorporate from a lot of different places than, than the usual places like GitHub and stuff like that. A lot of companies will just pull from LinkedIn and GitHub. Um, and they pull some information from Indeed if you have a license, which I do, and incorporate some of that type of stuff. So I thought that was really cool uh, and, and practical for the type of work that we're doing. Um, let me see. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I want to share the system audio. I want to see if we share that. Okay. That should be better. Um, let me see if that had come through yet. Yeah, here we go. They have a Chrome extension. Okay, I want to accept the invitation. Sure. I want to accept the invitation. Um can I sign in with Google? Let me see if I can sign in with Google. Sign, sign in with Outlook. Hmm. Let me see if I can get away with this. I'm going to try my Outlook account first. This is probably where I'm going to hit the firewall. Okay. 
and speak code. Sure, speak code. Two factor authentication. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to do it on my, my work account. That is why I always try this on my my um, other email, my personal email. Sign in with Google. You can always sign in with Google. You can't see this because it's on my other screen, but I'm working on signing in, and then we can go into this thing and, and see if we can get it to work. Sure, I'll allow it. And they also have a Chrome extension, so I can check that Chrome extension out too. Oh, it's not inter interstellar. It's interstellar. I'll have to change that. That makes sense. Duh. Okay, so I'm in. Okay. And uh, let's see if they have a dark mode. Do they have a dark mode? Oh, you guys have to have dark mode. Okay. Um. So, integrations, they go into all these integrations. So, if you have any of these, Greenhouse is what they're, what they're owned by. But if you, if you work with any of these CRMs, they integrate with these. Um, they do not, less annoying CRM. That I've, Aaron Lentz told me about that one. Um, but so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's good. If you have any of these, if lever, I'm trying to Salesforce, Luxo. So for, for some of those folks using Luxo, Luxo, but they don't have, um, they don't have Avature, which is my CRM, which is not surprising. Um, they have got Bullhorn, uh, Greenhouse, HubSpot, some of the other ones. Um, but yeah, let me go into here and you can, let's see, we can add a sequence, sequence name, test one, share with team, sure, create sequence. I need, I need my caffeine. I should probably have my, uh, my uh, comments up too. Okay. Um, yeah. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. My boss is watching. Uh, but so, yeah. So start finding new contacts, import CSV. Um, I, I just want to go to the steps right now. So add step. Um, so let's say... Um, So it's that easy. Um, I I know that they said A/B testing. Clicked a few suggestion. Oh, okay. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. You can add. Okay, so you can add videos, and you can add pictures. Let me see how how that might work. Um, so. Look, I'm live. That's cool. So say I want to add a video. Like this, this newest one. This is my, in, my, my new intro that I haven't pulled yet. Okay, I'm going to stop it so it doesn't blast y'all's ears off. 
Let me see if it parses the image. That would be great. Um, yeah, so. No, that is not what I want. It's this one right here. So it's interstellar. So, I mean, I can do that. I wonder if you can embed it. What does this do? Oh, and you can add. Yeah, that's the other thing is you can add, like, first name, last name, email, title. So, they've got all these things that you can add as well. So, if you want to say, hey, hello, Mr. First Name, uh, You can add the company, so you can you can you can personalize the template company, and that will be incorporated in the message as well. Um, I want to see what this is. I can't do that. I'm clicking it, but nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. What does this do? Add image URL. Upload image. Add video. Add video link. Oh, look at that. Look, look at, okay, so this is automatically, I'm very much interested in this because it not only pulled the, the video link, which you can probably click on, but it pulled the image, the thumbnail of the video that I just posted. So this is huge. This is huge as far as, as working with, with messaging. Um, yeah, automatically sends 10 minutes after contact is added. Okay. So that's step one. Okay. Um, do they have, what is this? Okay. And here's an AB test. So start AB test. And I'm sure there's a way you can set this up. Okay. So add step. Okay, so it says automatically sends 10 minutes after contact is added. Automatically sends three days after, and I'm sure you can change this. Yep, you can change that. Um, I know the body of the... Just following up. And say I want to add a picture of Mr. Torque. Sure can measure. Uh, what 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 game is that? Oh man, Borderlands. I just want an image real quick. Hear me okay, correct? Let me know if you have trouble hearing me. This image right here. So copy image. I want to copy it, man. I just want to copy this. Copy image. Do I need a specific link? Paste. I guess I do need a link. Copy link address. Okay. We could do this. So it's a little bit slow because probably I'm... Um, 
Oh no, I went this way. Upload image, add image URL. Yeah, I know, but I just want to see if it works. Okay, so I don't know if that'll work. Probably got some copyright stuff on it, but you could add images. So let me, let me just see if I can add an image from my computer. Upload image. Oh, I can drag and drop. Okay, I'll drag and drop. What do I got on here? What do I got on here? Oh, okay. Here, we'll just do this. I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh, that was the that was the uh, webinar that I did with with uh, Katrina, Paul, and, and Glenn. I can make it small. I can make it original. Let's do medium. And Josh Jones. Josh Jones. Josh Jones. Okay, so I added picture. I've got a video on the first one. Um, so I can see how that works. I still need to mess around with A-B testing, but I just, I can remove this. Let me remove that. I need it. I need to mess around with it. But this is the first time I've taken a, a, a real dive into this tool. So, um, but yeah, again, very much similar to the, the different... Um, drip campaign uh, softwares that I've used. But what I really like is being able to add the video. I really like that aspect. I think that's going to help in, in a lot of great ways. And I really like the fact that you can automatically, this automatically has the, the cadence. So three days after, that's pretty good. I can always change this. I say, okay, uh, how about uh, two days? Crowd that will all connect. We'll have a personalized email for this step. Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm glad that it has reminders. really want it. Maybe I could just link a video. Let me see if I can link a, somebody else's video. Because this is a video. Mr. Torque. Can I go to YouTube, please? Visit. Okay. I don't want the commercial. Dial pad has formed for I love ads on YouTube. It's my favorite. That's pretty cool. Like it. I like it. Put that over there. Um, okay. Now I want to share this one. So say I want to add like like a a drone uh, type of of video that maybe maybe somebody in the area did. Oh, I want to, I don't want to do it that way. So again, like it takes a little bit of a exploring, experiment, experimenting, um, add video. I really like this feature. I really like this feature. Add video link. Boom. Boom. It, it's on there. And it looks like it takes you right to it. Of course, I'll have to test this, but, and I think I just kind of figure out how to how to do an A-B test. So you go here, maybe it's a new thread. You see it says new thread. This is the initial, initial message. What does new thread do? 
new thread. Okay, I don't, I don't want, and you can, I don't want to mess too much with this. But yeah, you can set this up. Obviously, I'll have to do some more research on it. But I mean, it looks great. I want to, I want to really, um, with this, you can add, like with, with Woodpecker, you can add CSVs into contact list. You can also contact list, and if you need contact information, it has that feature too. Um, the best part of this is it doesn't break the bank. I, I'll, let me see if I can have some pricing. So, um, but again, with any of these types of technologies, with any of the automation based technologies and drip campaigns, you've got to dig in and, and configure this stuff. But I mean, as you can see, you can set this up. Um, load a campaign and then let it let it run for you and follow up with you. Um, yeah, let me see the pricing. It's in the 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 tool is called Interstellar. I thought it was Interstellar. And Sean Hervey he he told me about this. He likes this one, and I understand why. And I thought I saw another one um, mentioned on some of the Facebook boards, but but yeah, it's called Interstellar. Let me Interstellar IO for the bear icon. And the pricing, because like I mean, it's for these um, for a lot of these types of of tools, like it's several thousand dollars for for each month for a seat and you get a lot of these features you get sourcing you get outreach and i mean like like 250 email lookups you get i mean i think the chrome extension is free i'll have to look up look that up uh it pulls personal emails and work emails okay so um and in phone numbers phone numbers are always tricky but it's got all this outreach it's got all these integrations. If you do have a, a CRM that's integrated with this, it'll make it a whole lot easier. And uh, look, it's it's six hundred dollars per month for three users. So um, I think it's two hundred dollars per month for a, a, a single user with two hundred and fifty email lookups. I mean, and and if you're paying for email lookups, usually a dollar each. So. Um, I, and yeah, so this is definitely something that raised my eye, eyebrow because if you've got three users and six hundred dollars a month, and you get email lookups on top of the outreach, unlimited unlimited outreach looks like unlimited emails per day, A/B testing, meeting tracking, um, works with Gmail Outlook, and see that's the thing. I have it. I have it connected with my Gmail because I'm behind a firewall, so we'd have to most likely get this approved by uh, our cyber department. But, and you can import and export contacts. In fact, when uh, I was running through this with uh, Renee, the, the rep that was showing me this, um, you can import a list and you can also export that list if, you, if you've built a campaign around it. So, um, so say like I build a campaign and, and uh, I, I have a bunch of contacts and stuff like that. Well. I can pull that back into my CRM, even if it doesn't integrate. There's ways we can do that. So, but yeah, I know, uh, I know a lot of people. It was was it Lux, Luxo or something else? It was something else um, that you have to pl put them in one at a time. And this would be, I mean, this would be a better way to track it, in my opinion, because you you can you can reach out by by bulk. Um, but yeah, I, I like this. I'm de definitely going to play around with it more. I've only got seven days, so I'll probably do another live stream next week once I dig into this a little bit more. Um, and yeah, thanks for thanks for everybody that's that's jumped on and and listened to me ramble a little bit. <laughs> um, and Mark, thanks for the the comment. I mean, I'm a big fan of doing this type of stuff, and if it helps people, I definitely want to do more of it. So yeah, thanks for thanks for jumping on everybody, and and I will I will create more of these videos and utilize this a little bit more and once i dive in a little bit more um but i wanted just to to show you live kind of what it looks like uh and see see how how user-friendly it is 
and it looks like it's it's something that I mean we'll just have to test around just just mess around with but um everybody thanks Sean for mentioning this to me because I wouldn't have known about it without him mentioning it so a uh, huge shout out to him he's he knows a whole lot more than what he gives himself credit for so um but no I, I re really appreciate it um you know that's you know that's that's how us TikTokers are <laughs> so um but yeah thanks everybody for jumping on and I will make sure to share this on the other channels um and and I will have a second part of this most likely probably sometime next week so thanks and I'll see you guys later see you on the next one